Going to individual therapy is one of the most common things that people do to save their relationships. And honestly, I feel a bit conflicted about that. On the one hand, I think it's great that you want to do something to improve your relationship. Way too many couples break up or divorce before getting professional help. However, there are some studies that suggest individual therapy probably isn't going to be as effective as going to couple therapy with your partner. So although it may be uncomfortable to talk to your partner about your concerns, it's really important to do that so that the two of you can work together to solve your relationship difficulties. Even if you're thinking about going to individual therapy to decide if you want to stay in your relationship, it's going to be difficult for you to make the best decision in individual therapy. You really need to get your partner's perspective and ideas on what he or she is willing to change. So, if at all possible, consider going to couple therapy rather than individual therapy if your primary goal is to improve or save your relationship. But let's assume for a moment that individual therapy makes the most sense for your situation. How can you pick the best therapist? Well, the first question I would ask of a therapist you're considering seeing is this. How much training and experience do you have in working with couples? Now, that may seem strange. After all, if you're going by yourself, what difference does it make if the therapist has experience working with couples? Well, actually, it makes quite a bit of difference. Doing individual therapy to improve a romantic relationship is actually very difficult. If I'm doing individual therapy with you for depression, anxiety, or something like that, I'm going to be most concerned about how you're thinking and feeling about the situation. However, if I'm doing individual therapy with you to improve your relationship, as a therapist, I have to remember that I'm literally only hearing one side of the story. Your partner probably has different views and feelings about the things you're describing. And one of the most important things I can do for you as a therapist is to help you start to see things in a different way, one that includes your partner's perspective. So even though you probably don't agree with your partner's views, it's important to understand them because only after you understand them can you start to find a way out of the problems you're having. So why then is it important for an individual therapist to have experience working with couples? Well, it's because therapists with that experience can help fill in the missing information, what your partner would likely say if he or she was in the room. So for example, Let's imagine you told me in individual therapy that you've been having a lot of arguments because your partner's been withdrawing and refusing to discuss things. And so you've noticed that you've been getting more and more insistent that your partner talk to you. Well, because I have training in working with couples, I'd be able to recognize that you're probably caught in a very common communication pattern called a pursue withdraw pattern or a demand avoid pattern, something like that. And I would know that you're probably gotten more and more demanding because your partner has been withdrawing, which, which makes sense. But I would also be able to fill in what your partner would likely say if he or she was in the room with you, that he or she is withdrawing and avoiding talking with you because you've gotten more and more demanding. So rather than just seeing your partner as cold and unconnected, I can really help you understand why your partner is acting the way he is or she is. And more importantly, I could help you understand that if you pursue your partner less and make fewer demands, you might actually find that your partner actually avoids you less. Anyway, I hope this information has been helpful to you in finding an individual therapist. If your partner ends up being willing to go to couple therapy with you, please check out our video on how to find a good couple therapist. Or if your partner is willing to do an online program with you, but he or she is not willing to talk to a couple therapist, then please watch our video on picking an effective online program. There are lots of good options out there for online programs that would be more helpful than going to an individual therapist. But most importantly, I just want to say congratulations on having the courage to seek help for your relationship. Many people just let their relationships crumble before their eyes. So it's really great that you're willing to do something about it. I wish you the best of luck in improving and strengthening your relationship.